Hey, welcome to Fix It for Josh's Sake. Do you ever wonder what's going on inside of your Octatron Arctic Cat snowmobile muffler? This one is from a 1972 Arctic Cat uh, Cheetah. And if you look really close at the face of it, you can actually see there's a number punched into the muffler, 0112-172. Well, I'm sure a lot of us have looked at this muffler and, uh, you know, took it off the motor, put it on the motor. Maybe we painted it up or, uh, you know, checked the, the clips here. Yeah, and uh, we've realized there's always a little bit of rust inside of these things coming out. But uh, I always wanted to know what the heck was going on inside of one of these. Today, my curiosity got the best of me here on this 1972 Articat Cheetah muffler. And I had the luxury of coming across another 1972 Articat muffler. Now, this one was on a uh, 400cc. This one was on a 340cc Spirit motor. I believe both of those were Spirit motors. But this is uh, the one that had the welds all busted out and the bracket and everything was trash. So I thought, let's get the cutoff wheel. Let's cut it open and see what we got. So the first thing I did is I started cutting right here. And I quickly realized it wouldn't come out. I thought that was just going to break loose and come out of there. But it didn't come out. So then I thought, well, let's cut this off. And I cut this off and realized, well, that doesn't come off either. Uh, and then I thought, well, let's cut right here. And that didn't do anything, and I eventually had to cut a line all the way down here. Uh, before I cut that line, though, I did cut the face of this off to be able to see what was going on down inside of there. So then when I cut this line off, we're able to flip this open, and this is fun to see. This is pretty cool. So this right here is where you see the header connecting here comes around and goes into the front of the muffler, like you would see right there. And then we got what uh, kind of looks like a megaphone. You know, when guys are in those sound contests to see how loud they can get their snowmobile to be? Well, we got ourselves a little mini megaphone right here. But it stops dead right there. And the exhaust would hit into the face of this uh, rounded out pointed part of the muffler. And it would push the exhaust back into each side of the muffler here where then it is compressed back down into a, a smaller area. But this is interesting, right here, then you see, see if I can show you, uh, there is this kind of a ribbed area there with a bunch of slots in it. So that exhaust is forced uh, to the, let's see, the face of the muffler here forced to the face of the muffler, then back through these slots, and then finally, it would, once it goes through that slot, it would find its way out the exhaust pipe right here, which would be this exhaust pipe right there, coming around like that. I don't know if that makes sense, but I think that is pretty cool looking. When you put piece this all together and you see how exhaust comes like this, megaphones, hits this turnaround point here, comes back, gets squished to push up against the face here and then comes out here and pops out our exhaust pipe right there. What a neat design. Now it does seem like there's a lot of restriction there. It does seem like this might, might, might not be the most efficient or high performance muffler, but uh, in short, that is how a uh, Articat muffler for the Spirit motor Suzuki Spirit Motor was uh, built and set up. That's the stock muffler right there with that cool, you know, Ar Arctotron muffler in it. And again, I thought it was interesting to find out that they stamped the part number right there on the muffler. I never knew that until I started cutting this thing open and saw that number on there. Well, I hope that's fun. I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at this with me. And uh, I didn't fix anything today. In fact, I destroyed some stuff. But at the same time, knowledge is power, so thanks for watching as we fix it for Josh's sake.